did you really think going to Wales in winter was going to be this easy? Hi, it's Richard! <laughs> is this the Devil's Staircase? Yes. Excellent. And this has been the best year of my life, to be honest. I actually can't make this sh**. What the f <laughs> So you're probably wondering, wait a minute Saffron, you're sat inside a hotel room and in last week's episode it showed the hotel closed. Well, that is correct my friend, and the instructions on the door stated to visit the hotel next door, in which I presumed they would be hosting me. Well, I presumed wrong. All they did was simply hand me the key to the hotel that I was booked in, and well, if you're ever wondering what a vacant pub looks like at 2am, it looks a little bit like this. So yes, I was staying <laughs> in a closed pub by myself. <laughs> And if this is a horror movie, you'd all be sat there at home going, what is she doing? Why is she staying there alone? But you know what? This is where we are, this is where I landed, and this is what I did. So cue the next morning. So yesterday I climbed up the Devil's Staircase. Um, I gave myself three days in Wales to get this mission done. And it was just fortunate that the day that I was arriving on was the best day of the free, weather-wise. So I decided to just steamroll ahead despite the battery issues and get it done. Now, if you've been following my channel, in terms of timelines, this will be last week's episode that I'm referring to. Um, so now I've got two days in Wales to play with because I've, I've come here, I've completed what I wanted to do, but now what do I do? And I just, I didn't expect me to get my goal done so quickly. I thought I might need like an extra attempt. I thought it might rain. I thought it might be cold, but no, we've done it. It's completed. And now I'm a girl without a mission, except drink this coffee. So... I was just like, I've been, I've been awake for two hours, it's 6am, this is why I'm having to talk so quiet, trying to work out what to do with the rest of my time. And I've, I've finally settled on it. I'm going to try and find some of the best biking roads in South Wales. So the first road that I'm going to be starting with today, which is going to be this week's episode, is the New Town to Cross Gate A Road. Apparently this is a really fantastic road, I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to start to get dressed, I'm going to get everything on and I just, uh, I just feel so lucky. I just, I'm really enjoying myself, but let's get going. But if you're going to come with me, we have to be super quiet leaving, okay? Because there's people sleeping, so shh, shh, shh. Oh, instantly. Such luxury. <laughs> Okay, away we go. So after the recommended daily four cups of coffee, I was on my way to film two new motorcycle road guides for the channel. Of course, no journey start would be complete without first fueling up and a casual reminder from the locals that I'm a bit of a nutter. Oh, you have no idea. I did five hours yesterday in it. <laughs> uh, Chester? Oh, wow. So. It's got to be cold now. I've got heated clothing. You need it. I'd read of a little road further north from where I was staying called the New Town to Crossgate Junction, and well, I was dying to check it out. 
Now, because I was effectively going to be taking a figure eight loop around the area, eventually ending up at the Black Mountains Pass, I decided to keep things a little bit interesting and take a different way there. And well, in typical Saffron fashion, it wasn't long before I unfortunately got lost and ended down a few little crazy roads. Oh gosh, okay. Let's go on a little bit of an adventure. Oh, guys. Oh my god. You know, the other day I posted on Facebook about doing 200 miles in, in five hours. And someone commented like, hey, were you pushing the bike at that speed? And I'm like, if you knew, if you knew the roads I was traveling down, you'd quit your jibber jabbering. Oh, <laughs> this is my favorite kind of road. Ready? arrived at the starting point in Newtown and I pulled over to start filming the new motorcycle guide for the channel. Luckily for me, by the time I unloaded and got the camera set up, the weather had begun to pick up and well, I was in pretty high spirits. Oh, happy day. <laughs> I think he was beeping at me. <laughs> Okay, so we finally reached our ending point at Crossgates in South Wales. Now, as you can see, the weather's taken a little bit of a turn for a worse, as is my uh, hair. So after spending the morning riding down some random Welsh tracks and lunchtime creating a new motorcycle guide, I realized that I hadn't left much time for me to ride back down south to the Black Mountain Lanes. I looked at my clock and calculated that I still had two hours to play with. After my newly installed confidence from the day before, I was certain that I could make it and simply ride back in the dark. However, one thing that I didn't account for was just how bad the weather was going to turn. After riding in adverse conditions for nearly an hour, I was struggling and the Black Mountain lanes were still an hour away. I decided to stop at the nearest pub in an attempt to dry off before embarking onwards.
I take it you're not open for coffee by any chance, are you? As I sat drying off by the fire as quickly as I could, I was becoming increasingly frustrated watching the weather get steadily worse. waited another 15 minutes in the hope that it might lighten up. However, unfortunately by this point I had to accept that my goal for the afternoon would not materialise and I would have to find a way to make it back to the hotel safely. Made your yet? I'm gonna... going back to the hotel, I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at a like there and I... Do you know what? I was sat here for 15 minutes and I was like, I'm gonna have to make a decision in the, the yeah. next 15 minutes, but my shoes weren't dry. And I was just like, if my feet, if my feet hadn't have gotten wet, I would have done it. Yeah. But because my feet got wet, I was just, ugh. Oh. But it's fine, I've got... Spoken, I was just like, yeah, she ain't riding back in. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go home and get some she ain't chips. I'm gonna go watch Netflix. <laughs> but yeah, better safe than sorry, really. You too. Cheers, thank you. Uh, yeah. okay. We are riding in the rain. God. Oh great, I guess he's gonna get a wet butt. I'm gonna be safe. I don't want to be that idiot that the air ambulance gets called out for. I know I said it was okay guys, but honestly, it wasn't okay. Truth be told, the moment the sun went down, I became extremely terrified. My feet became soaked through and after 15 minutes of riding, I was suffering. Visibility was extremely poor, I could barely see out of my visor, street lights were far and few between and the rain continued to pour down. What was supposed to be a 45 minute ride back to the hotel felt like an eternity. Although my heated gear was keeping my body temperature up, my feet were so cold and so painful that I genuinely wanted to cry. I was torn between wanting to speed up to get out of the rain and wanting to slow down to ensure that I got there safely. There were several occasions I ended up having to pull up on the side of the road to give myself a mental pep talk because honestly I was just that scared. By the time I got back to the hotel room I felt somewhat shell-shocked from the experience.
so this is the first time where I feel like I've set out to do something and I didn't manage to make it and there's like so many emotions going on because it's like am I frustrated yes very much so am I angry at myself yes but did I make the right decision coming back a thousand times yes and even though I knew that this was like the right thing to do um, and you know you should be prioritizing your safety you know it, it, it takes precedent over everything but at the same time I feel like I want to cry because I just I wanted to do this and I wanted to make it to the Black Mountain Lanes and I did not Next time on Safi Sprockets. So, unfortunately, uh, it's looking like I might have to turn back. The road is closed. <laughs>